Your Honor, I'd like to proffer the next person then. Okay, who's your proffer? Um, Your Honor, she would like to be identified as Diamond, D-I-A-M-O-N-D. -I, I have um, a video of her, a news video, if you want to see it, but in the sake of time, but we have that if you want to see it. She is, um, she was raised on Cleveland Avenue. She lost her child, her son, to gun violence. He was murdered. Um, she heads a team to stop gun violence. She's partnered with Travion Martin's mother, Brianna Taylor's mother, and unfortunately, countless other persons, known and unknown, who've lost family members to violence. And Mr. Jeffrey Williams, um, she would testify, is instrumental with trying to stop gun violence and trying to get people not to think that this is a video game and shooting is okay and that everybody needs to speak about their controversies and their disputes and put down the guns and she wanted that to be known and there is a video if you want to see it but otherwise that is my proffer. I'll accept your proffer then, sir. All right, sir. Your Honor, next is, um, he's a witness here, Mr. Kevin Lyles, which is L. I L E S, and he has known Mr. Williams since Mr. Williams has been um, um, just just an adult, and we'd like him to come and talk about the factors for bond. He is with the record label, Your Honor, and um, he has come here um, to give testimony on behalf of Mr. Williams, and he's flew here from. He was out of state. He lives in New York, but I don't know where he flew here from. All right, where's Mr. Lyles? He is right here, Your Honor. Hi, Mr. Lyles. Uh, good afternoon, sir. If you could please approach the witness stand once you get there, if you're so kind to turn face to have you talk and be sworn as a witness. Before you sit down, hold on. All right, sir. You swear in front of the testimony of the court. Truth to all, truth to nothing but the truth to all. I can take your seat. State and spell your first and last name. Kevin Lyles, K-E-B-I-N-L-I-L-E-S. Good afternoon, sir. How you doing, Mr. Steele? I'll let you know. Can you do me a favor and give the Samba Court, educate the Samba Court on who you are, your background? The court may not be familiar. Um, your Honor, I'm a 54-year-old father of four. Um, I'm kind of emotional because how good this guy is. Um, I have um, Morgan State University. Um, I built a stadium in my, my old school. I have a street named after me. I have all kind of honorary doctorates. Um, I employed probably 5,000 people. Um, I was the president and CEO of Def Jam. I've been in this music called hip hop for 38 years. And for the life of me, I don't understand why I have to testify um, the good that hip hop has done around the world. Um, I've also started a company with Jeffrey called Young Stoner Life. And I remember what he said to me. We're not just starting a company. We're going to change some lives. And that's what he's done. And he's definitely changed mine. Mr. Lyles, how long have you known Mr. Williams? Uh, for, well, I was a fan for probably 12 years, but I personally got to know him over the last uh, 10 years. Okay. And um, have you signed or your company signed Mr. Williams? Yes, he signed to uh, us. Um, and I hate saying that he signed to us because it's my partner. But uh, we, have a, we have two deals. One deal is a deal for him as an artist, solo artist, and the other deal is for Young Stone of Life. And, and I know this is personal, but financially, there's been testimony that if this trial, and I'm not saying it, the court would allow it, but if it doesn't take place for a year, there'd be over a million dollars in expenses just for 24-hour um, security of police officers to ensure, off-duty police officers, second jobs to ensure Mr. Williams 
um, does not flee, does not get um, types of weapons, does not intimidate a witness, is not a danger to community or property in the community. Can he afford, in your, from your personal knowledge and how much money he earns, can he afford that type of undertaking? Uh, Jeffrey can afford it, and I can afford it, so it will be paid for. And you are willing to back him as well? I'm willing to back him personally and professionally. Okay. Please explain, if you can, and discuss fully how your life intersected with Mr. Williams' life. Um, my, my job is to um, seek out talented people. And um, I think God brought us together in a, a very weird way. But um, I think we were meant to be together. Um, Jeffrey is not just an artist. He's an influencer. He is a, a person that I think was put here to change the people around him. And he's so talented. He's creative, he's innovative, um, and he's fearless. He's a risk taker. And those kind of people, I call them change agents. Um, we're, I'm not signing just artists. I'm raising a young man. He looks at me as a father figure. He, he's not, like I said, we, can, we can't limit it to just his lyrics or his music. He's a young man, and he will be a contributing citizen to this world, and that's what I invest in. And I truly believe this whole thing that people are talking about, it's not him. The Jeffrey I know, the Jeffrey I know will give me clothes off his back. The Jeffrey I know, I can give him my kids, he can give me his kids. That's the Jeffrey I know. You mentioned lyrics. There's been a lot of um, argument by the prosecution about the lyrics and songs. Can you explain, if you have the insight, what, what is selling in the um, rap industry dealing with the lyrics? And why are they being promoted and why are people wanting it? Your Honor, you, you've, um, I don't know how old you are, but no, no older than you. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I've been fighting this battle for over 40 years. Um, it's, not, it's not new. And it's funny how we're the number one music in the world now, and they want to bring this back up. Now, we don't argue about any other web, uh, movies or other genres of music that talk about I ran them over in my truck, or I, 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 got, got, had, I got drunk and I went and shot them. We don't, we don't bring those things to court. But quote unquote, our music, we've been on trial. And we're constantly on trial about who we are, what we are, and why we are. And nobody gave us nothing. So we sit here uh, on trial and we talk about lyrics. Lyrics? I don't understand the thing, but I, I'm going to be here and I'm going to keep fighting for it because I believe self-expression. And I believe we should protect black art. We should protect black art. And I'm on trial for lyrics. Come on, man. With regards to Mr. Williams, and the court may not be familiar, where does he rank in, um, if, if there is such a ranking, in um, the music industry? Objection, Judge, that's not relevant to anything. It shows his employment status, it's part of the Ayala factors, and whether the record company is going to continue to back him. I think you've already established that through the witness, um, and he's considered to be used to potentially be on Okay. Um, you understand that uh, Mr. Williams was charged in 2018 in DeKalb County with a offense of involving, he was riding in a car with two other people um, and there was a gun and um, a small amount of drugs in the car. Are you, are you familiar with what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay. And you know that case? It's still pending, believe it or not, but it went up to the appellate court. I don't know. Are you familiar with all that? Yes. Everything was suppressed by the Honorable uh, Superior Court judge in another county, and then the state appeal got reversed, and it's pending. You're, you're yes. aware about it? Yes. Okay. So Mr. Williams is actually on bond for that case. Okay. The allegation also entails the fact um, that when Mr. Williams was arrested at the home here in Atlanta, 
a search warrant was then executed at that home, and there were um, multiple firearms. One firearm was allegedly um, uh, illegal. It's, it turned into like a machine gun. And um, there was supposedly about two pounds of marijuana and um, some items in, looks like, like an energy drink, but it supposedly contains either uh, Schedule 2, 3, or 4 uh, drugs in it, codeine, supposedly. You're familiar with that? I read it. Okay. Understanding all those facts, the DeKalb County case, current bond, and the search of the home, you're also aware that many other people were in that house at the time of the search warrant, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I'd like to ask you the following questions in addition to the fact that we are charging two counts in this current indictment. You're familiar with the RICO conspiracy and the gang yes. count? Yes. Okay. Do, on your oath, would you be willing to back with your own personal property and wealth, or you, as well as your own company's personal property and wealth, the bond for Mr. Williams, if the Samba Court wanted a high bond? Objection, Judge. It's past an answer. He's all, the witness actually has already stated that, and I've heard Yeah, he already it. said he put, I've already heard he, he put up his own and his company's um, um, resources, so it's an it, outstanding objection. Would you be willing, with, okay, if this is the same question, just I apologize, but I thought it's a different question. You have to understand that you would, if the court wanted to, you would lose that wealth if Mr. Williams violated condition of bond. I mean, it's not just go on bond when Mr. Williams is in custody, you're released. The court could have you signed as a co-signer on that bond, and you would actually have a lien against your wealth if Mr. Williams violated condition of bond. Are you still willing to do that? I could sign to me, yes. Okay. Without hesitation, obviously. Without hesitation. All right. Do you believe that if um, granted bond on your oath, Mr. Williams would intimidate any witness? <laughs> nah. Obstruct yeah. the administration of justice? No. Be a danger to the community or property in the community? Not at all. And um, a risk to commit a crime while out on bond? No, not at all. He has too much respect for me and too much respect for the company that we're building and too many people that depend on him. It's not about Jeffrey. So I, it's, 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 it's about the family, it's about the community. You know, he understands he, he's, he's um, inspiring the world right now. There's a kid that he changes their life every day. I really believe that. For the better? For the better. I have one last question mm -hmm. for you. Um, if this honorable court granted bond, but it was very, very restrictive, Mr. Williams is not coming out to uh, studios. He's not doing videos. Um, speaking with him may be curtailed. Is your record label still willing to keep him as a vibrant m member of SIN? That's my partner. Okay. And just for the court's edification, I think you just said, but Mr. Williams is not only an artist, he's, he's an owner of the company, right? He's a businessman. Uh, I, I told him hip hop has given him a way to be an entrepreneur, a way to empower people, a way to educate people, and he has a responsibility. He knows that with, with this success comes responsibility, and he's, we made a commitment to each other that we're going to do this for the rest of our life. I want to thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Hold on one second. Oh. Say, any questions? No questions. Okay. All right. Um, then, I'll, then I'll 